Welcome to How To Dino. Today I will walk you through part 1 of creating custom commands. First, go to the DinoBot dashboard and log in with your Discord account. Once finished, select the server you'd like to manage. Welcome to your DinoBot server dashboard. Now that we're here, click on the Custom Commands tab on the menu located on the left. In order to add a custom command, click on the red Add Command button. Now let's walk through our various custom command fields. The field labeled command is where you'll insert your custom command name. This field is required. Your command name cannot include spaces and cannot share a name with any of Dino's default commands. The field titled response is where you'd enter text and variables to allow the custom command to function. More on this in part 2 of the walkthrough. So stay tuned. The delete command option will delete the text a command author or server member used to activate the command. The silent command option will prevent Dino from sending default messages. Instead, Dino will only send text included with your custom command, if any is provided. The DM response option will send whatever text or variable output placed in the response field to the command author or server member that activated your command. The Disable at Everyone option will prevent Dino from mentioning everyone in the server. This option is useful for when members are allowed to send messages through Dino. The Allowed Roles permission will only allow specified roles to use the command. The Ignored Role permission will restrict command usage to the specified roles. The Allowed Channel permission will allow command usage only to the specified channel. The ignore channel permission will restrict command usage in the specified channels. The response channel permission will send all custom command text or variable output to the specified channel. The advanced cooldown option will force the command author to wait the specified length of seconds before running the command again. The advanced delete after option will delete the custom command response after the specified length has passed. Please note that the max length is 30 seconds. The Advanced Required Arguments option will require the user to input the specified amount of text or more in order to run the custom command. If the specified amount isn't reached, the command will not run. Once finished, click on the Add Command button. You'll know if your command was added successfully if the green box shows up. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.